Garland from Bonnie Lake, Washington. Do any manufacturers make a cover slash skylight to put in place of my Coleman roof mounted air conditioning unit? Indeed, Dwight, all the air conditioner does is sandwich the roof between the inside portion of the air conditioner and the rooftop portion that you see on top of the coach. All that transfer, all that mounting goes through a simple 14 inch opening, which is the most common size of a roof vent or a skylight uh, that, that fits in that same opening. So in fact, back in the old days, uh, air conditioners really never came from the uh, factory with an air conditioner installed. We always installed them at the dealer level. So what we would do would be to take out an existing 14 inch roof vent and then install the air conditioner right at that same location. So if you pull off your air conditioner, you're going to find nothing but a 14 inch hole. And if you go down to any RV parts accessory store at any RV dealership uh, or any of the big box stores that, that sell RV components, uh, any vent, any 14 inch vent will simply fit right in that same opening. Now, if you want to go to a larger skylight or a, a, a bigger size vent, then you'll have to do some carpentry and cut, cut a bigger hole in the ceiling and make sure it's reinforced properly. I don't know as if I'd go that route, but if you simply want to get rid of the air conditioner and install a vent, it's one of the easiest things you could do. Just take care when you remove the air conditioner, have a buddy up there with you. Those units are not light. They're kind of uh, awkward and heavy, and you have to have the right equipment to get it down off the roof. But by the time you get it loose from the roof and pulled up, you'll see nothing but a 14-inch hole right there. Perfect size for the next vent. <laughs>